Hey guys, my name is Marion. If you're new here, welcome to the shit show. So I haven't done like one of these videos in like a long, long time that I don't even know what to do. I'm like, do I sit like this? Do I like put my feet up? Like, what do I even do? Like, I don't even know how to sit properly to do this video. But either way, um, let's hop on in. Before we start, can we just like, I did my hair. I dyed my hair by the way guys. It is so much lighter and I am obsessed with it. It's called a balayage, a balji, aguasi. I'm not sure what it's called, but either way, I am in love with how my hair turned out. But this video isn't about me talking about how great my hair is. Today's video is actually about the books that I have been currently reading. New Year's kind of resolution was to read more books. So I have been reading a lot more books and these are actually the six books that I have been currently reading. Starting off with Everything is Fucked, a book about hope by Mark Mason. So this book I specifically picked up for myself because I honestly love reading any book that's just about self-improvement, self-help. Um, this is actually the author who wrote the book A Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. I originally read that book first before reading this one. Um, this is just like teaching you that even though like our circumstances are really difficult, there's always hope in the end. There's like, you could go through the worst thing possible in the world. Anybody could go through the most traumatic thing in the world. Like, like your whole world turned upside down and this book will give you the hope you need. Like keep pushing forward no matter what. And if you're looking for like some motivation because you're like, down everything in your life seems like nothing is going right you don't know what to do like this is the book you want to pick up if you're looking for some hope next book is actually not a self-help book but it is big little lies um by lane moradley Morality? i'm sure but either way this is actually a tv show guys i i was reading this when i was up in new york and i didn't know it was a tv show until one of the girls told me and it also says an hbo series so that should have been a hint for me but clearly i did not get it it is a tv show I'm a person who loves to read the book and then watch the tv show or the movie just so i could compare it and point out every little thing that they did wrong and how they changed things like i love doing that with books and movies but anyways i personally always love the book more than the movie since the book is always better than the movie in my opinion but this book is so good it is so 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 good you need to pick this up it is a murder mystery going on there's like some whoo, stuff going on like some intense stuff it had me like on edge like i could not put it down like i was reading it I did not want to put down this book so if you're looking for a, a thriller murder mystery a little bit of romance just a teensy weensy bit this is a book for you so pick this up it is so so good you will not regret it i literally could not put it down now this book the inner peace experiment from chaos to calm 30 days in new york city's concrete jungle by Joe McCaff. I don't even know what to say about this book. I'm at loss for words with this book. This book touched me. This book made me want to start reading again because I'm an avid reader and I stopped reading and then when I picked up this book, I started reading again and it just honestly, it touched my heart. The author of this book, he wrote so beautifully. There was a section in this book where it was really like oh my god you're reading my mind who are you and like how did you get in my mind everything that i'm thinking is up in here like he's saying short book it's not like long it literally had 140 pages like you could read this in a day but this took me a long time to read like it took me a lot. because it just like touched me it was just so good guys and if you're afraid to do something and you just need like something to help you get there 
or like to push your dreams you need to pick up this book get this book it's so good it's so amazing um but other anyways let's hop on to the next book all right the next book i have don't hate me all right don't hate me don't judge me either okay this book is called every breath and it's by nicholas sparks like every nicholas Star sparks book movie series what does he do series i don't think so i think he only does novels but whatever the case may be you know it's going to be good you know it's going to be romantic and you know it's going to make you cry or maybe that's just me because i'm an emotional person okay i have feelings this book is obviously a romantic story i read this at the beginning of the summer it's two people who like got together like at like a young age and then kind of like drifted apart had their own like lives and then now they're coming together but they're coming together and you know their time is going to be so limited and it's just like do they decide to like go their separate ways or just like go for it like it's that you know like i want you but like i don't but i want you but like i don't you know i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys i just gotta say nicholas sparks you my man i love every single one of your books i read them all the time don't judge me i don't care i like my romantic books so if you're looking for some new romance in your life i definitely would say to pick up this book okay this book let me tell you about this book i don't like this book i didn't even finish reading it i don't like it and i will not finish reading it and here's why like this book is legitimately terrible if you're looking to be sold every single paragraph at the end of every chapter then you should read this book because this book is literally about how he became rich he's going to tell you the steps of becoming rich and profiting off of real estate and then at the end of the chapter have two testimonials and these are two people who use his program signed up for his coaching you know business on the side and became you know rich people now and so this book is literally to convince you to take his program and become I'm rich he writes so aggressively like so aggressive he makes valid points i will give him that he writes there's some things that i did highlight but like no like here i highlighted like i did highlight i i didn't get very far in this chapter five so i was on page 94 like i was but man this guy's annoying. All he does is just sell, sell, sell you. Like, I don't want to join your program. Instead, I want to take you up and your face and shut up. I feel like that was really mean. But, but other than that, don't read this book. Don't even waste your time on this book. This book is to sell you into purchasing this book so you can read it and then join his coaching business. If you read this book, this man will convince you to probably spend a lot of money so he can coach you. So you decide, but don't do it. Now, the last book, which is also the current book that I am reading is this one. Yes. It's another romantic book. It is called Once and For All by Sarah Deslin. She is a romantic writer, author. I like to say like, you know, there's like Nicholas Sparks, you know, the male romantic person who writes like novels. And then there's like the female author who does the same thing. And it's Sarah Deslin. And you know, she writes really good. It's a pretty easy read. I started this last night. So I read one chapter last night and now I'm on chapter two. You know, I've been reading her for a long time. This same way I've been reading Nicholas Sparks for a long time. Every single one of their books do not ever disappoint me. I feel like, you know, they made me believe in love more. Cheesy, right? Marian. Looking for something romantic and read this book. If you're not, don't read this book. I will let you know how this book is in the end. Again, I'm only on chapter one, but I do love this author and I highly recommend her. So definitely go check her out. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and being with me as I be weird per usual. Either way, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And also, if I have any new subscribers here, I want you guys a comment down below hey new subscribers so i can welcome you to my channel i really appreciate that also make sure to follow my instagram i will post it right here for you guys to 
check it out and give me a follow. But either way, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys very soon. Adios.